I'm going to be reacting to our M plus DPS meta prediction video that we had about a month and uh, a half ago. Are all the specs going to still be the same S tier as before? Do we have new D tier contenders? Was I right? Was I wrong? Let's find out because we are starting right really quick off the bat with Frost Decay. Now, last time we revisited Frost Decay for M+, obviously was predicting the meta and uh, I put it into B tier. And right now I think it's more of a C tier to be honest with the current meta settings. Now, there is a little bit of a caveat saying here. This obviously video is a little bit uh, ahead of time recorded. The meta might be slightly different when you see it. However, it won't <laughs> it won't magically put uh, D tier specs into S tier, so don't worry about that. But the idea is to see with the limited amount of data that we had to work with uh, during the PTR and going into the first season and knowing what the stuff will be, how the specs actually turned out in the end because on top of the predictions that we kind of like, listen, it sounds like it might be B tier, so we're gonna put Frost Decay into B tier, but during that time, uh, it got buffs or it got nerfs or other class got way more buffs than Frost Decay, and the overall performance with even more data from people kind of suggested that Frost Decay is not as highly as it was before. I mean, I don't know if it's that big of a difference. B tier is pretty high because the B tier specs that we have currently today in the current rankings are pretty good specs and it was kind of difficult to kind of look at the meta and snapshot it as we're recording this video and figure out exactly what is B tier because B tier is essentially specs that clear about 25s, 26, I think all the way maybe up to 27s is what the B tier specs will be clearing out but uh, that's not Frost Decay, okay? Uh, and that's about it. With the uh, disclaimers out of the way, what you don't need to get out of the way is our Patreon platform because it supports this video and all of the content that we do here on Marcellian Online. It definitely helps us make more and more content in this uh, very unreliable times of getting uh, YouTube revenue. But hey, maybe you do like our content and you do want to support us a little bit more. You can go to patreon.com slash Online and be a part of the team. Not only that, you also will get some goodies, you know, like custom made wallpapers with your characters access to bloopers and even early access to some of the videos that we have out which is only exclusive to patrons of course to show our gratitude back for supporting us check the link down in the description because right now we're just gonna hop back into the next on the list which um i guess it's unholy decay based on this video unholy decay is in b tier Next to Frost Decay, well, maybe we weren't that far off. It's kind of in the same tier still, because right now it's in C tier. However, there's quite a few specs between Frost and Unholy, and that actually kind of matters. We're probably going to see how many specs actually uh, do get in between these two specs. But at the end of the day, I guess this was more aligned with the DK performance as, uh, yeah, it sounds like it's uh, around the same level as Frost Decay, maybe slightly better, and it is slightly better now but it's not pulling any heads and it's actually doing a lot worse than uh, than I predicted and that's a little bit of a shame because DK has kind of had a, a rough spot over the years. It's just been slightly below average consistently with some very few occasions of unholy stealing some PIs every now and again, but that's kind of it. Havoc is rightfully so S tier. I don't think this was even a question and I think the melee predictions came right after certain of the buffs that Havoc received after its rework which is fairly accurate because Havoc is maybe one of the biggest wild cards that we're gonna have this and uh, kind of stoked that so uh, managed to predict it well since it could have been either way with the amount of you know zigzaggy that its numbers were, was doing at the time so uh so I don't know I don't know let's see how we put balance druid though did i put it in s tier it, i did put it into s tier oh and i removed the dk specs wait i might have changed my mind i've put unholy higher wait take that back unholy is i was way off with unholy what a fucking dumbass dude i was a kid hoping for the better future but in terms of actual balance s tier is not necessarily too far off i put it in front of havoc which was a sin a sin i was not conscious about because the, the thing with the current meta is a little bit weird. 
Uh, pretty much all the specs that you see right now on the screen are in A tier are specs that are clearing 29s and 28s, the same level of keys that Augmentation and Havoc are also clearing. They're kind of at the same level with the S tier specs. The reason why the S tier specs in the current meta are separate from all the A tier specs is because you see way more augmentations and way more Havocs and the number one team as of recording this video is actually running two Havocs in augmentation including 29s. Probably by the time you see this video they might be clearing 30s which is, you know, it is what it is but it's probably going to be with the same amount of specs with the same level of specs even if Havoc was just nerfed. Now, Balance Druid is a top tier spec, but it's not as close to, to Havoc. Obviously, you see a bunch of other specs in between Balance and Havoc, so it's clearing 28s, 29s, but it's, you know, one or two Balance people that are actually really good at the spec. Uh, let's see Feral. No, I had high hopes, I was wrong. Feral is C tier. Um, the thing is, I actually played Feral in the PTR and it was doing really well, but the thing is, you know, I wasn't the kind of player or had the access to groups that can just push high keys on the PTR nor had the time to do it to see how it kind of scales in 20s. Feral is actually really good. I play Feral in my off time doing my keys as well and it's doing quite a bit of damage. It doesn't really do as high to be placed into A tier, <laughs> not even close, it is C tier and it's sad because Feral cannot catch a break and I was like man maybe this is Feral time, this is gonna be good but it uh, turns out not. I think Devastation is C tier, oh I was right on this one, to be fair I don't think it was gonna be hard predicting Devastation is gonna be C tier because there's no way Devastation is gonna outvalue Augmentation um, which I I believe I predicted Augmentation to be S tier at that time, we'll see when we get to it. But Devastation being C tier is not necessarily a surprise, I, to be fair, I haven't seen a Devastation Evoker since Season 1. I know you're out there, I know you're playing this pack and you kinda want your Gecko, Gecko to be better, but it's not get over it, play Augmentation, holy shit, I, I feel sorry for Devastations dude, no, 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 no breaks caught. BM, probably S tier, right? I, because BM was slapping, yes, S tier. I wasn't necessarily far off. If you remember the beginning of the M plus uh, season, BF was cranking and it's still cranking right now. Even after the nerfs, it's still pretty good. It's, you know, not really pushing the highest of keys. There's, there's probably like one BM Hunter doing the top keys, but that's, I cannot rank a whole spec by one player. So it's not necessarily S tier, it's just, it's just shy of being uh, an A tier spec, which A tier specs, like I mentioned before, are specs that are taken by rotation into the highest keys. They're not consistent like Havoc and Augmentation are, and ni neither is BM. It could potentially be A tier and kind of being one of those specs that, you know, close to balance, where you might take it in a super, super, super high key. Likely, one of its issues, it's still its squishiness, it's doing really, really, really good damage, but as as uh, as opposed to what it was used to doing before, its single target t took a dip to uh, to make room for some AoE, which is not necessarily a bad thing, that's kind of how balance is, but balance is probably one of the specs that sacrifices the least amount of single target to do really good AoE, which is, I guess, really good, even though its single target is a little bit meh. But this is not about balance, it's about beast mastery. I was wrong, it's two tiers lower, fuck me. We're going to go to... Uh, marksmanship which marksmanship oh no oh i put it into a d tier dude um not necessarily too far off all the way into d tier the thing is marksmanship was definitely going to be a bust because it was probably the the community accepted worst tier set receiver after windwalkers was fixed and I think the marksmanship tier set was fixed after we did the prediction video, so definitely shut up at least one tier. Right now in the raids, marksmanship is definitely slapping. We're probably still going to be waiting for the Mythic Plus marksmanship, so I predict that the current meta that you see now, recorded a little bit ahead of time, marksmanship at the very least will, will climb up to B tier or at, or at the top of C tier. I don't think it's gonna be A tier, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a difference, but it definitely climbed higher than what I predicted it back in the PTRs. Um, and Survival is just slightly better than Marksmanship at the moment, so I don't know where I put it, I might have put it into S tier! Yo, what was I thinking? Obviously I was, I was running with a different, different uh, sheet of data at the time. 
Yo, that is not survival's performance now. Not even close being better than Beast Mastery. Uh, I, I just, I just don't know. Maybe because at the time we had access to the best gear possible, I don't think survivals actually have, like, all the survivals that are pushing keys have Rox weapon. I think that's the best for survival, if I'm not mistaken. Rashomon on some, some, some spear. And that might be part of the reason why survival might be doing really well, but I don't think it will bump it from C tier to S tier. No shot. At the very least, similar to Marksmanship, it might be B tier by the end of the year, year but I don't think it's going to be S tier. It needs, it needs serious rework. Dude, rework my main. Come on. Come on. I want to play survival again. Jesus Christ. Arcane. Uh, so currently Arcane is B tier. To be fair, um, there are not a lot of, the, I don't think there were a lot of people that were playing Arcane at the time, definitely not a lot of people that were logging Arcane, so the data was a little bit skewed, but being worse than Devastation definitely is a flop when it comes to Arcane, that's not how, how the spec is, uh, is currently performing, uh, it's definitely a lot better, Arcane is one of the specs that actually slap, I think we did... Uh, just prior to this tier list, we did a, a meta-analysis of, uh, of M+, or just overall DPS rankings. I don't remember if it was M+, or raids, but Arcane was fucking wrecking the meters, dude, Jesus. And it's definitely doing a lot better in raids as well. We're gonna get to the raid predictions um, in a couple of days. But uh, right now, Arcane definitely a flop, definitely way better than, than we predicted it to be. So yay for Arcane, I guess, I suppose. So let's move on. What's next? Next up is, uh, what is it, Fire Mage? B tier. Um, okay, well, definitely a bit more pessimistic on the predictions. Fire is uh, probably the best example to discuss the A tier again. Is basically one of the mage specs that kept, keeps being taken into the high keys. It's either Fire or Frost. Frost is next. Well, I'm gonna see where I predicted Frost to be. Um, they're relatively close in overall performance. Fire is slightly better. Probably its damage profile still prefers... Uh, the M plus system a little bit more than Frost, but Frost, to be fair, uh, did have a, have a, we're gonna get to Frost in a second, but Fire, definitely way worse than I thought, although, yeah, yeah, probably worse. I would have felt better about my prediction of Fire if I put it into S tier than B tier, even though it's A tier, which is a tier difference in both of those cases, because the current A tier might as well just be an S tier if Havoc and Augmentation were not just flat out broken. Um, but that's fire. Let's see frost mage. Please be next to fire. Please be next to fire. Please be next to fire. It's probably a tier, right? If I recall. Oh, it's a little bit higher than, than fire. Um, but it's still in the round in the same realms. It's slightly doing a little worse, probably because um, I, if I'm not mistaken, since the the patch has been released, uh, mage has been getting quite a few damage buffs. And fire might have been getting a little bit more than frost, but it could just be that the top fire mages during PTR, when we had access to the data, were just not, you know, pushing the keys or logging the keys publicly for people to see. Um, it's still a really good spec. Obviously, right now it's really cranking, but in the PTR, the data didn't really show that, so my predictions were off. What are you gonna do? Listen, Windwalker, please don't rank it higher, please. Windwalker is not really good. It's not, Windwalker is not doing great. C tier, come on. No! Well, I put it next to mages, which is an even more egregious uh, placement because it's a tier different than mages. It's not even close to being uh, the similar performance as a mage, let alone better than fire. Better than fire might actually put it into S tier today, uh, which was not how it was performing at the time. Uh, Windwalker is just taken, has taken a big dip since Shadowlands, probably because, if I recall, uh, last time it was like really cranking was basically because of a lot of bugs. Um, I still think it might have some bugs that it needs to be fleshed out, but it just clearly shows that Windwalker just needs <laughs> needs a little bit of help. I'm not gonna lie. Now let's see where Ripaldin is because Ripaldin is at the bottom of the beats here, but Ripaldin is a really good spec and is pushing really high keys. I might have been putting it into A tier. Oh, I did! I did put it into A tier. Top of the A tier? Probably not, boy. Probably not. Flame, you dumbass. Listen, uh, the thing is, 
at the time, at the beginning of the season, at the very least, Red Paladin was probably A tier because it's just a very solid spec that doesn't really need a lot of stuff to actually really perform. Not to mention you're really tanky, you're tankier than Hunters, you're tankier than Druids, so you're not gonna have the issues that you have with tankiness during progression, during pushing keys, but now that the meta has kind of settled a little bit and everybody pretty much has their four set, has most, if not all of their BIS items, Red starts to fall a little bit behind, as usually most classes that spec into verse, if you're not an outlaw, you know, Windwalkers, Reds usually kind of start to fall down a little bit, since they just don't scale that well. Uh, but yeah, uh, the surprising part was actually Shadow Priest, seeing as it's not that high this season. How high did I rank it, I wonder? Well, it is next to red in my defense, uh, but it is A tier and it's so not A tier. I was actually debating if I should uh, put Shadow Priest into B tier with the current statings or put it down into C tier, but I valued Shadow Priest's Mass Dispel, Stamina Buff, and PI as part of the reason why it's actually really good in M+, not its actual damage. Uh, I actually feel slightly bad for Shadow Priests. They're not doing that well, but you know, there are a lot of other DPS specs that are doing a little bit worse than Shadow Priest. What are you gonna do? Shadow Priest is definitely definitely not a tier it's uh at least one tier below i don't know what shadow priest needs to have changed but they priest in general as a class took a big hit with their mass dispel nerf with their utility that made them made them kings uh last patch let's see assassination oh i put it into a tier no i put it into b tier <gasps> oh my god is this one of the very few accurate predictions to be fair, I, I kind of remember the mindset that I had when I looked at the assassination spec at the time. I knew it was doing a lot of damage, but I didn't know how good it would have been um, in the B tier. And I think once we get to the raid predictions, I might see the error of my ways. Uh, but assassination is doing a lot better than a lot of people think. In Mythic Plus as well, it's still one of the top tier rogue specs. Surprisingly, better than subtlety as we can see from the current meta standings. Not better than, than Outlaw, of course, but I think the B tier that we had in the PTR might be slightly different than the B tier. This is why making tier list is so difficult, guys. This is why you should always take tier list with a grain of salt. We fucking say this almost every video uh, with the risk of sounding like a broken record. This is just as a point of reference, because at the end of the day, you can play all of these specs to do keys above 22s, 23s, even the lowly D tier affliction, which we're gonna get to in a second. But you can definitely have fun and push keys. Obviously, if you want to be competitive, you're always going to want to play S tier, at the very least uh, A tier, uh, which assassination is not, unfortunately, not the ideal one. The ideal one is probably Outlaw, if I'm not mistaken. Did I think the same way during PTR? Uh, let's see, let's see, Outlaw. Oh, I probably did. Listen, Outlaw is not necessarily wrong. What's probably wrong is thinking that it's better than Havoc. It's not. But it is S tier on the predictions and it kind of is S tier now because the current A tier is kind of like a pseudo S tier But I just had to put the difference between augmentation and havoc like I mentioned before Outlaw is definitely really good definitely better than balance. So I'm not too bad of, well, I don't feel too bad about the, the way I predicted outlaw the fact that I predicted as probably being the best spec in M plus I don't know if there was something that was ranked higher in the prediction video. We'll, we'll have to get to probably subtlety. I might have thought it would be better. Or maybe augmentation better than Outlaw. But we'll see how that turns out. But Outlaw was just very consistent. Still very consistent. Did receive a bunch of nerfs. And it's still really, really good. It's not destroying the meters like Havoc is. But it's just a consistent good spec. Kind of reminds me of BFA in a, in a, in a way. Uh, subtlety. Um, I put it into B tier. It's not currently B tier. It might be B tier. It might even be A tier by the end of the season. Because I think we're probably going to have the season end and then go maybe into a faded version. But that's kind of how subtlety has been for the past couple of years. It starts a little bit slow and it starts to pick up. It's doing this in raids. And uh, maybe it's not doing that much in, in dungeons. We'll see how, how things play out. But subtlety is not that bad. Um... It's worse than the predictions. I've ever listen. I'm gonna own it. Listen, I thought subtlety would be would be better, but uh, maybe the, this prediction would be different if we would do this video like a month later. But as it stands, subtlety is not doing as hot as it used to. 
Uh, however, elemental is actually kind of on the same length of... Wait, where did I put it? Oh my god, I put elemental into A tier? Yo, listen guys, don't do alcohol, don't do drugs. Stay in school, learn and sleep well, eat well, exercise every day so you don't do stupid mistakes like I did thinking with a clouded mind that elemental is A tier. Which is weird, because Elemental is not doing too bad, but it's not AT material whatsoever. It is kind of similar performance with Unholy and Feral and things like that, but it's not. Not A tier. Um, it's starting to pick up a lot of steam in raids as well, and it's starting to do competitive AoE damage with Balanced Druids on Council Fights. I know because I'm a main Balanced Druid, so I just happen to know that information. Because uh, I thought I had a thing, but now Elemental is kind of taking my thing away. So with that logic, I could see Elemental getting uh, better and better performance into M+. It's just that Enhancement just kind of takes the cake, uh, the big piece of the cake, the 80% of the cake from Elemental Stable. So that's kind of where it is. We'll see if things change. Enhancement is next to it. Well, Enhancement is actually A tier. It's actually still solidly good. This is one of the more consistent specs that we've had. Maybe even the most consistent uh, DPS spec in Dragonflight. I wonder if I made this exact criticism of it uh, last time, but it is very good. It's really, really, really good. Um, not much to say about Enhancement. It's just a solid, consistent spec. It does a lot of damage consistently all the time. It's kind of like a... Like a, where Havoc should be, if it had, you know, a little bit of a little bit of shame, a little bit of common sense, a little bit of, you know, just, you know, whatever. Affliction, though. Currently, Affliction sucks major dog shit. And... <sighs> when are we gonna have a good iteration of Affliction in Mythic Plus? When, Blizzard? When? Why do you raise our hopes in PTR by letting us do big, big demo with Affliction and thinking, hmm, it's looking like it might not be this bad this season, but it turns out it's very bad this season. It is the worst spec currently in Mythic Plus. I think at the time of recording this video, it's the only DPS spec that has not reached 3k IO. Even with that, it's 2.9k. Listen, 2.9k IO used to be pretty high IO. It's currently doing 23s, probably 24s. Uh, so it's not bad per se. You can definitely, you know, do relevant Mythic Plus keys with your Affliction if you don't want to, you know, be top of the meta. But it's very, very, very obviously behind everybody else. I would have put it a tier below everybody in C tier, but, you know, our tier lists only go down to D and I think it's probably just fine. But Affliction is not okay. Listen, guys, Affliction needs help, okay? Uh, Demo. Oh, Demo's doing a lot better than I thought it might have been. I don't know where I put it. Is it A tier? Is it A? Oh, it is A tier. It's... I know it's it's still A tier. It's kind of the same, so it's not that bad. However, top of the A tier currently actually means a lot because of Flick, uh, Demonology, when the, uh, with the current top uh, teams that are clearing keys, is the first non-Havoc DPS spec that is taken in clearing the highest of keys. That actually matters since you go to Demonology first. So I don't know how meta will shape up in about a month or by the time you see this, uh, it's probably not gonna be too different. It is still very good. It might actually be more accurate with the, with the actual prediction video, but it is a very, very solid AOE spec with, with all of the damage from the tier set, with the implosion and the new, new talents, rework stuff is doing a lot better. Not as much for Destruction, which, uh, where's Destruction? B tier. Nah, nah, wrong, wrong. Destruction is C tier. No longer the king that it used to be at the end of Shadowlands and beginning of uh, Dragonflight. It's no longer the Reign of Fire king. Probably because you just have to move so much. Reign of Fire never builds up. Plus, to be fair, I'm not a really big fan of the Destruction tiers. So I think I might have been slightly high on Copium when, uh, when I was watching... The, when I was watching, studying the logs, obviously we have some footage here from Kalamazi playing uh, Destruction back in the day, but uh, yeah, Destruction is eh, it's at least better than Affliction, which uh, is not a big compliment. Arms. Arms is around the same level. Let's see, where do I put it here? Arms. Please don't put it high. Please, where do I put arms? B tier. Um, I don't know. It's not B tier. It, it's not... Too bad, but ARMS is not the winner of the lottery this season. 
I don't think the tier set is particularly amazing for ARMS. It still retains its really good uh, M plus burst. Yeah, as you can see from the current rankings, so the winner is definitely Fury. I don't know if I've placed Fury higher than ARMS in the M plus prediction, but ARMS just, just sucks. Um, obviously not as much as Affliction, but you know, again, that's that doesn't make ARMS players feel good by being compared with Affliction and saying not that bad as Affliction. That's, that doesn't say very much. Fury, please be higher than ARMS. Oh, Fury 8 tier. Um, also still bottom 8 tier. I, I don't feel really bad about this prediction because Fury Warrior is definitely one of the, the, the higher specs. It's not A tier, obviously it's not A tier, but it is pretty good. The current B tier is, I mean, you know, it's very close to Assassination Beast Mastery, which are top tier DPS specs. And that's about it. It's a little bit lower performing than, than what I thought it would be because Fury Warriors just do really well upfront damage. They might be better as the patch goes on, but as it stands at the recording of this video, it's not. It's a little bit of a flop. I don't feel too bad about it, but I definitely didn't, didn't get it right this time. And moving on finally to the last kit on the block, Augmentation. Dude, if this is not A tier, uh, S tier, then I don't know what's going on. Put, put it S tier, put it. Place it. What am I doing? S tier, there you go. <laughs> Whew, I thought I had to stop making YouTube videos. Um, it's definitely better than Outlaw. And I, and I thought I was kind of sure that I was going to put it in front of Outlaw in the prediction. I did not, but it's definitely, definitely S tier. I don't think that was a surprising thing for anybody. I think it's probably still going to stay S tier, I believe, until we get another support class. It's the only spec in and of itself that does what it does, being a support, they're definitely not gonna nerf this too hard, and if they do, it's just gonna kill the spec 100%. It's gonna kill a lot of people that came back to the game in Dragonflight and the people that are actually playing Dragonflight, playing the new class, because it is drawing a lot of attention to the new class and to the new concept. I believe that um, the, the reason why Augmentation is still going to be S tier for a while is because this support role, which is, you know, categorized as a DPS, but it's not really a DPS, this support role will con continuously maintain its uh, its dominance and they want to put the support role into other classes as well. So in order for it to have awareness, it's probably going to still be very, very good. At the very least, I don't see it lower than A tier, but I got it right. A bunch of specs, they were predicted pretty well, but not all of them, uh, to be fair. And listen, if you really want to see how the meta evolves and make sh and kind of like put it into perspective and not take these tier lists too seriously, they're just fun, okay? They're just fun to make. You can watch our previous DPS tier list for it, and plus uh, the melee one is usually probably what you want to see because you already know uh, augmentation is top tier and you're probably going to be playing melees if you want to do 30. So check it out right here. Click it and uh, see you next time.